Hi everyone, my name is G1 Writer with G1 Insights and this is your extended mini love focus for Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising or Venus in Leo. Okay, so guys, I don't want to hold you up guys any longer than you have already been held up. So let's get started, okay, because listen, when I did your life and love energy, I, you know, for the same energy as for everyone, like I had this overwhelming feeling for the past few weeks that I need to do like this extended love energy and i was like oh my god but i need to be able to share some type of guidance with these people and something just kept nagging at me to do this so i feel really blessed and honored to be able to provide this for you guys so i really hope that you all enjoy it please like and share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message you guys are amazing and thank you for being a part of my team love you all right Let's get started. This message is for Leo. Someone rising on Venus on Leo overall life and love energy. Let's see what the universe has for you when it comes to love for the month of April 2020. All right, here we go. Uh oh. Wait, that didn't really come out the way I wanted it to come out. Uh oh. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Woo! Already stirring up something, right? Already. I didn't even get to pluck the cards yet. It's already like all over the place. All right, here we go. All right. All right, sorry guys. I had to take a deep breath. Okay. Okay, so first and foremost, okay, it seemed like someone is wearing a mask, okay, self pretense pretending to be something that they're not, okay, or possibly putting up a defense of... A defense mechanism, um, a defense of misconception or something like that. They're, they're pretending to be something that they're not, okay? I'm not showing true feelings, hiding their um, personality, pretending to be something that they're not, delude or gaslighting, okay? So this is definitely someone that's really like... It's like they, they're taking action in something, but they're doing it in a way because, for instance, if you're used to a person that buy you roses all the time, and this person is doing exactly that, right? But deep down the side, we know there's another side to this person. They don't usually buy people roses. <laughs> they usually are very loud, obnoxious, very rude in public, don't really care to buy you much of anything. Don't really care to take a shopping or don't really care to know exactly what you feel. This is the type of person that you're dealing with, okay? Or that you could have deep connections to, all right? Or this could be somebody that had their eyes set on you. So be very careful with people who seem extra needy around this time, okay? Let's go for it. Okay, so this could be an ex, somebody from the past. Okay, I do say camera here, so there's definitely somebody who's trying to recapture old memories and you, um, either you or this other person is wearing like this mask of deception, okay? Um, not really revealing their true feelings, however, this is definitely somebody from the past. Maybe you at once upon a time have had good experiences with this person and this is what's making you feel very drawn to this person when it comes to love and living your best life and making memories. This person really know how to show you a really good time. This person strikes me as a, um, as an Aquarius or a Sag, um, or even a Scorpio, okay? Somebody who can be very persuasive, okay? So especially when it comes to the love areas, this person can be very, very persuasive, okay guys? So yeah, this person, they're really good at making memories and making you feel like you're the one and making you feel like you got it all under control and making you feel like they love you so much. But in all reality, they have a whole different agenda. So be very careful about this particular person. If they are an ex, you want to make sure that you stay away from them, okay? It's a reason why they are an ex. All right, let's move forward. So the hand of cards came out of reverse. And that is, of course, taking a risk, you know, doing something different. 
um not really i just feel like you want to play your cards right that's what this energy is like playing your cards right you know um so even if you are talking to your ex for a lot of you even if you do realize that your ex is going extra hard to try to win you back it's good to make sure that you got a plan b that you got a backup person that you got somebody you can run to and cry to and make love to just in case your ex fuck up again right and i'm not saying that it, to be a player but what i'm saying is to keep your options open but i feel like for a lot of you you do have that option you are uh, being pursued in numerous ways this season leo so with that being said you know this person is just gonna come hard or go home you know because everybody else is playing hard and they're not trying to let you go they, these people over here are not trying to see you you know lose out on such a great love and this person over here just kind of like trying their best to play with your heart but they don't even know that they got like a whole bunch of a whole group of competition like they don't even realize like the game is real you know so play your cards right you know may the best player win <laughs> This is interesting. This is really funny, though, Leo. This is really funny. This is such your energy. Like, I'm, I'm not even surprised. It's really your energy because you're like, may the best bitch win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, because I see you going hard for me, but then she over here giving me lots of love and attention and making me feel like that man to be, you know? And so while you over here playing games, thinking I ain't worth it all, she's showing me exactly why I deserve it all, you know? So may the best motherfucker win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move forward. I'm sorry, Leo. I don't mean to keep laughing, but your reading is very funny to me. Okay. <clears throat> Mirror, okay? Mirroring each other's self-image relationships reflecting our own wounds or introspection. So, this is definitely, again, guys, someone that you do have deep connections with. And because they know you, they're playing on your emotions or your insecurities. But what they don't know is that you got a whole different set of a, black, a back plan. Now, I'm not talking to my people who are married or coupled up, okay? I would never encourage you guys to, like, just leave your spouse. No way, okay? If you guys are married or coupled up, this is saying that maybe your spouse want to take it up a notch to kind of show you just how valuable you are to them okay or a lot of you will be saying i'm out you know so they either gonna step their game up or they're just gonna go and for each and every last one of you this message is gonna play out differently so it could be for you too leo like Maybe you want to step up and show your, you know, what you're made of. Maybe this person has other people on the team ruining for them and wanting their attention, you know. And that is what you're not comfortable with. It's some strange ass competition. You want to be known as the only one all the time. And yeah, like, hello, focus on me. What else is there to look at? Hello, you're looking at the best. Okay, that is you. And when someone else's attention goes away, you're like, hmm, they ain't better than me. And you feel like you ought to put on this big facade or put on this big show to kind of prove exactly who you are and why you are the way that you are, right? Even if this is family or close friends, like you guys always feel like you have to outdo the other person. And I don't think you do it in a way to hurt other people. You, this is just a deep um, yearning or... Um, yearning for acceptance okay for people to realize that you're a great person okay and i think that as long as you don't try to force a leo it's going to happen naturally this is going to be really beautiful this season during love this is going to be really interesting a lot of things coming to the surface that you was not really expecting okay so let's move on let's see what your soul is yearning for let's see what spirit has for you and you know if there's anything that we can fix we can fix if there's anything that we can um change them of course we'll change it right um but there's so much going on here and i feel like spirit really wants the best for you so let's see what spirit is guiding you to do this season and yearning and getting your soul ready for it, my love okay wow i mean i am so blown away at this energy right now you have no idea this is with the part of my job that gets scary for me because I just said this for you. This energy that is going on, this, I got to do better. I got to succeed. You know, I got to show and prove. I got to show them that I'm the best. Like, oh, uh, 
this energy, I just said this. This is about acceptance. The need to feel accepted. You have one person or maybe even a few people that accept you for exactly who you are. And then there's the others that you're deeply attracted to. And you're like, hi, hello, I'm over here. Why don't you see me? You know, like I'm the best there is. There's no other woman for you but me. You know, and you're calling out and you want their attention. Yeah, they're giving you their attention, but they're giving it to you in a way that in, in a way that make them feel comfortable. You know, like they're not giving their attention in a way that make you feel good. So how can you deal with all of that? Like that's a whole lot of a whole different platform of like self-esteem issues, right? Like how can you even deal with that? That's tough. But do you have these set of people over here that are saying, listen, I love you in spite of all things, you know? I accept you. You're a good person. You're fun to be around. You're very loving. You're very supportive. You're funny. I imagine I can spend my entire life with you. You really brighten my day. You know, waking up with you is never a dull moment. Like, you get to actually experience that this season with not just one person, but a few people. So there's, you know, <laughs> there's a few players on the field, my love, and you got to pick and choose who you want to be your, your forefront guy, you know, the one who's going to run and, and actually show up and show out without a doubt, without insecurity, the one who's going to say, yo, this is my chick, yo, this is my man, the one who's not afraid to stand up to anybody else. This is, ooh, I just feel a whole lot of, like, competitive energy here. This is interesting because this is exactly your energy, but this is where you're comfortable, though, Leo. So it makes it more sexy and it makes it much more beautiful when you can be yourself around the people who love you the most. And yes, you're not the most attractive person I would choose, right? Like, that's what I hear you saying. You're not the most attractive person I would choose, you know? But you're good to me. You're good to me. I love how you make me smile. I love how you just allow me to be myself. I'm, I love how in the midst of my pain, you tend to make me laugh. Right? I love that I can come through whenever, however, and you just accept me for who I am whenever and whatever position I may be in. I may not always be my best self, but you love me anyway. This is so beautiful, Leo. So you get that. You know, look, look at this. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Again, you're not always the person I'm totally attracted to, but you do have some, some qualities about you that I truly admire. And so I may not can't change these other areas about yourself, but I do love how you're always there to protect me and how you're always there to fight for me and fuck somebody up for me, how you're always there to make love to me, how you're always there to comfort me and make me feel safe and secure and sexy and beautiful. Like, yes, I appreciate that side of you. If this is not you doing this to somebody, then this is someone doing this to you. Either way, this is some beautiful energy, my love. So again, somebody is definitely hot in their true feelings. But, <clears throat> I just saw the 10th of April. By the 10th of April, my love, things begin to be revealed. <laughs> things will be revealed to you that you never suspected, okay? I love you, Leo. You have a wonderful season, wherever you are, this beautiful you are beautiful earth wherever you are in this beautiful universe okay spread love and light okay remember what's competition if nobody else feels as beautiful right so spread that love and light and be kind to people share love in the world because we all need it at the moment okay and you do your best to be the very best that you can and i'm super excited to see you guys next season because i believe that fire signs is going to have an amazing year so I'm super excited to see you guys when it comes to your life and love energy for the month of May and June and so forth. Okay, until next time, stay safe, guys. I love you.